Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at calculating sides uh, in triangles, in right angle triangles, that is, uh, using sine, cos, and tan. So I have two examples here, and we're going to find the size of the unknown sides uh, in both the triangles. We're given one side and one angle, as well as the right angle. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, start with the first one. Now, same as always, when we're doing trigonometry and we're dealing with right angle triangles, I need to know SOHCAHTOA. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is opposite over adjacent. So if I want to calculate A, I have this angle here, 52. 52 is opposite to A. So A is the opposite side. I have the side 10, that's the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse means I'm going to use sine. So the sine of 52 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is A, over the hypotenuse, which is 10. Now, when you're doing this, you want to try as much as you can to put the unknown side on top. So whatever side you're dealing with, try and get it on the top. If it's the opposite or the adjacent, you're going to use sine or cos or tan. If it's the hypotenuse, unfortunately, it's going to be on the bottom. And we'll see that in the last example and we'll see how to deal with that. Now, to calculate A, I have sine 52 degrees is equal to A over 10. Now, whatever you do, don't calculate this sine 52 just yet. There's no point in doing it just yet. What we're better off to do is to do a little bit of algebra and isolate this A. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 10 and that will isolate A. So 10 sine 52 degrees is equal to A. And now I can type that into my calculator. Type it in as it is 10 sine 52 and press equals and you'll get A is equal to 7.9, correct to one decimal place. Okay, let's try and calculate B. I have the angle 52. I want the angle B. B is the adjacent. I also have the hypotenuse, so I'm going to use cos. The cos of 52 is equal to the adjacent, which is B, over the hypotenuse, which is 10. Same thing, I'm going to multiply across by 10 so that I isolate B. So 10 cos 52 degrees is equal to B. You type this straight into your calculator, 10 cos 52 equals, and you end up getting B is equal to 6.2. <clears throat> okay, let's go on to our next triangle here. Let's try and calculate the side C. So I have eight, I want C. Now C is opposite, 8 is adjacent, so I'm going to use tan. The tan of C is equal to, sorry, that's the tan of 60 is equal to C over 8. Same thing again, let's multiply across by 8. So 8 tan 60 is equal to C. Type that straight into your calculator, 8 tan 60, and you should get 13.9. Now the last one, this is the one where we don't have uh, the unknown side on the bottom. So we're looking for D, we have 8, and we have 60. So we have the adjacent, we're looking for the hypotenuse, so that means we're going to use cos. So the cos of 60 degrees is equal to adjacent 8 over hypotenuse D. Now this just takes two steps to isolate D. First step is to get rid of the fraction. So I'm going to multiply across by D. So I get D cos 60 degrees equals 8. Now I've got rid of my fraction, but now I want to get rid of this thing here cos 60. So I'm going to divide by cos 60. That gives me D 
D is equal to 8 divided by cos 60. And now you can put that into your calculator. 8 divided by cos 60 and you should get 16. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, tune into the next video. It's going to be a practical problem uh, to use sine, cos, and tan uh, in a word problem, a more practical problem. If you have any questions, please uh, ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.